will have to wait. It's how players move the ball on the field. They've been doing it since it became an organized sport, but now heading the ball is officially banned for players ages 10 and younger. KXY Force Katie Curry working for you with White Doctors say this is a good thing, Katie. Nadine, the decision to ban headers from the United States Soccer Federation came after a lawsuit was filed claiming negligence in treating head injuries. The ban is part of new safety rules and guidelines aimed at reducing head injuries. Players ages 10 and younger will be prohibited from headers altogether, and soccer players ages 11 to 13 will face restrictions. The rule changes come out of a class action lawsuit filed in California in August 2014. A group of parents accused several soccer organizations of negligence in dealing with head injuries. According to the suit, almost 50,000 high school soccer players sustained concussions in 2010. Local doctors are on board with the change, saying there is still so much we don't know about concussions and their long-term impact on young children. There is a lot that happens in those early years, and we find that uh, we have a lot of injuries in kids under the age of 12 performing high-level sports. So overall, we think it's probably a good measure to help protect the kids. The new rules will be requirements for U.S. youth soccer national teams, including Major League Soccer Youth Club teams, but will only serve as guidelines for organizations not regulated by U.S. soccer. Now, several local organizations here in Spokane will be impacted by this. Now, Steven says a few things that parents should look for it when the, if their children is complaining of a headache or neck injury that is a sign that they could potentially have a concussion. He also says that he urges parents and coaches to speak to their players and children, alerting them if they have any of these injuries because, you know, sometimes, especially with the head injuries, it's not as obvious to people that there is something wrong. Reporting live in Spokane, Katie Curry, KXLY4 News.